welcome to another Wiggly Wild show. So today I'm going to show you how to make some really useful um, seed balls for the birds which um, contains a lot of energy that they can access particularly when the weather's turned a bit rubbish again. You're going to need some lard, okay, as cheap as you can get it, um, and some bird seed um, or a mixture of nuts. Some birds prefer other seeds to others so um, Niger seeds are really good for attracting things like goldfinches, um, peanuts better for things like robins, um, so it depends what you want to attract. You'll also need some kind of container for them. Um, I've got an old um, coconut shell, which has already got a piece of string hanging out, which is really useful. Um, but you can use a yogurt pot, um, you could even just use something to shape the balls and hang it up with a piece of string. Um, those do disintegrate a bit quicker though. So, um, so you probably don't want them breaking apart. So if you've got something like this or an old yogurt pot, then that's ideal. So if you've got a yogurt pot, put a hole through the middle like that, tie a knot at the end, um, and then you can fill it up like we're going to do with the coconut shell. First thing you'll need to do is chop up your lard into small pieces. Um, I'd also recommend using a container that you can recycle really easily afterwards um, because it's very difficult to get the lard residue off out of it. Um, once you've chopped it off, you need to put it in the microwave until it is soft, um, not uh, not completely runny. In my microwave that takes about a minute and this is the end result. So you can see it's mushy but it's not completely clear and runny and then you just need to mix in the seeds and the nuts. Once you've poured in the seeds and the nuts you need to keep mixing them until um, you've got lots and lots of seeds in, seeds in amongst the lard. So um, it looks a bit, if you've ever made Rice Krispie cakes, that amount of chocolate to Rice Krispies. Um, and once it's all mixed in, then you just need to fill up the appropriate container that you've got. So the lard contains a lot of energy for the birds, and then they've got the seeds that they would normally have during um, the autumn. And they'll just peck at this until they've finished it all off. Um, and the good thing about this is that once it's completely cooled down, it's very, very solid. Um, so you won't get so much mess or um, deposits of seeds in the garden for the rats to get. That's what a finished um, yogurt pot one looks like. And that's our finished product. So once that's cooled, we can put it outside and all the birds can start chomping at it. Thank you for joining us for another Wiggly Wild show. And please join us in a fortnight for another Wiggly Wild show when I will be showing you how to make mini beast houses.